Get your hand off my penis! the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies Baseball next. Rick Wise gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So now into the box is number 18. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The second baseman. And now the first pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Pitch is popped up. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Hey, that's why this guy's in the leadoff hole. Grinder, battler, whatever you want to call him. He is not afraid to go deep in the count. He is not afraid to hit with two strikes, and he showed it right there. So now to the plate, Don Keppinger in there. Now the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Ready with the 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. No one out with a runner at second. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Matty, this lineup's got to be willing to adjust. They cannot stay staunch and try and pull everything. Or there will be a ton of ground ball and weak fly ball contact. They have to be willing to use line to line to get this done today. At the plate, Ron Santo. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Man at third and a very early opportunity for him to drive in a run. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Ready with the 0-2. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Here comes another 0-2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Nothing happened there for the Cubbies. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Jenkins, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this ought to be fun to watch in this one here today. A guy with over 2,000 career strikeouts. Think about it. He knows how to get swings and misses, and he knows how to paint the corners. Hopefully, he'll bring some of that in this one here, and he should be fun to watch. Now with the plate is Tony Taylor. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. As he'll go after a curveball off the plate, it's strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate now, number four. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the Monsters 3-4-5. Nice piece of hitting. Standing in now, Dick Allen. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Throw over to first, and he's back in standing. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the right fielder, and it's gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center as the Phillies have taken a two-to-nothing lead. What a way to start this one off. School is top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. In now, Johnson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one to count. Now the pitch. To third, reined in, and there's out number two. Batting fifth. With that, a look at the Phillies' batting order in this one. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Maddie, I know this team can swing the bat, but one thing I'm focused on, and I think a huge key for this team, is base running. And I'm not necessarily saying stolen bases, just being aggressive on the base pass, putting the defense on their heels taking the extra base. Maybe that send from first to home. That's what I'm hoping to see. 
Nice piece of hitting right there. Two seam fastball sinker. He stayed inside it. Didn't have the action the pitcher would have liked. You know, that's a sinker right there, Mark, that is intended to be down in the zone. And this pitcher better get the ball down because he can't live up in the strike zone. Into the box, Cookie Rojas, as he drives a liner to right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. Into the box now, Mike Ryan, as he'll fall behind here as he goes after a fastball that might have been out of the zone at strike one. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. The 0-1 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2-0 Philly. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jim Hickman. And they could use a spark from him here. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's oh, yeah. behind the dish. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jim Hickman goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. To the plate now, Billy Williams. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Wise has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty V, and I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Johnson is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Next to dig in, Ernie Banks. First pitch on the way. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. At the plate now, Randy Hundley. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Fouled off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it.
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. Banks is off a of first with two away. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. So now to the plate, Don Young, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Looking to make it three straight two-out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. Oh and one here it comes. Changed up on him, and he gets the inside corner for strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Up strand a couple. They trail it here, two to nothing. So here is Don Money. And now the first pitch. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Hickman has it and it's a quick out number one. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. Stepping in now, Rick Wise. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 2. What a well executed sinker right there. There's really nothing you can do with that pitch. You're either burying it into the ground or fouling it off your shin. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1 and 2. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box, Tony Taylor, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. I don't know how he got to that fastball right there. That looked like the old Tommy Hawk approach so back in the 60s Number and 70s four. getting to that one. In now, number four. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Young gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. After two, it's a 2 nothing ball game. So now here is Jenkins, 9-1-2 and two due up. Number 31. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. 
He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And that indeed is a pitcher up there as he's not even close at that one and becomes out number one. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. At the plate, number 18. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He's singled to open up the ball game. The wind up and the 0-1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Came inside with the off-speed stuff, and it catches the corner. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Kepinger. Into the box now, Don Kepinger. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Behind 0-2 now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners. And what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. Lifted down the line and left. And it's a foul ball. Ready with another 0-2. Struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're still down. It's 2-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the rookie first baseman, Dick Allen. Now the pitch. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate and the count moves to one and two now. Hey, usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. 
And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That's a pretty Double unique 11. pitch sequence, guys. Usually, pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. To the plate now, Johnson. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that one is gone! So a solo shot here to left center field, and the Phillies open up a 3 to nothing lead. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Standing in now, number six. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. Now back, second baseman, Cookie Rohan. Striding in is Cookie Rojas. He singled first time up. Here it comes. As he grounds one briskly to short. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Phillies get one in the frame, courtesy of this solo home run. We played three full. It's now 3 nothing Philadelphia. At the plate now is Ron Santo. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the A.B. now. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line shot to first, and there's one away. And now in the box, Jim Hickman struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Hickman makes a lot of great contact against left-handed pitching, perhaps one of the best in the game in that regard, but he does have his warts against right-handers at times. Just not as proficient at putting the ball in play when it's coming from that side. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. Well, we've seen a lot of guys swinging at pitches out of the strike zone early on in this game. So I think the game plan on that pitch right there was to try to bounce one and try to get them to chase again. And he fouls this one off. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And it's fouled away.
Again, another foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Going back is the left fielder. Gone! A solo shot here to left, and the Cubs are on the board. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Well, it took long enough, but they're finally on the board. We might look back at this shot as a spark they needed to make their bats come alive. Then again, it might just be a blip on the radar. We'll see how the rest of the game unfolds. Stepping in now, Billy Williams. So he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Digging in next, Ernie Banks. Now the first pitch. As he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's 1-0. That evens it up 1-1. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. One ball and two strikes to count. Ready on one and two. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Cubbies draw a bit closer on the strength of this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Cubs one. Now to the plate, Mike Ryan. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Into the box, Don Money comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. Williams is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Rick Wise. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him. A base hit. 
Boy, Dewar, you're talking about frustrating as a pitcher. You have the, the pitcher up with two outs, eight. and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that by getting him. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Phillies down on just four pitches, and it's still three to one. Stepping in, Randy Hundley. He singled in his first A.B. Pitch on the way. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Johnson is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Center fielder number 24, John Young. Next to stand in is Don Young. First delivery to him. Three to one, our score as we play inning number five. Bounce to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The bag, number 31. And now the Cubs pitcher, Jenkins. First pitch of the A.B. now. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Aye. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Cubs are down in order, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Digging in now for Philadelphia, number four. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The center fielder, number four. First offering. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. into center field line drive base hit so the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning nice piece of hitting right there kept his shoulders square his hands inside the baseball and was able to fight off a good nice executed pitch for a knock in now Dick Allen as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike a hit in two tries for him so far. Runners on the move for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Is there and he's out trying to take second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. 
One out, nobody on. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's 4-1. second home run of the game right there he is locked in at the plate you hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone into the box Johnson he swings and grounds it to short right to him and there are two away now. Well done. Number six. Next to hit is number six. One for two on his line so far in the game. Now here's the first offering. One oh. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. The 1-0 home gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Into the box now, Cookie Rojas. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center, he's under it and that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Five innings complete. It's now 4-1 to one, Philadelphia. Stepping up is number 18. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. first delivery to him as he puts it on the ground to third reined in throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth the next Cub up, Don Keppinger, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And for me, this is the side he looks more fluid from. A little more control in his swing, and it seems to lead to more consistent contact than from the right side. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. And it's quickly 0-2. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. This is line to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Love the ability to push that ball the other way Not right bad. there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. To the plate now, Ron Santo. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the stretch. And that misses 1-1. One one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And 
and that misses two and one. Keppinger leads off first with one away. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now batting, right fielder. Yeah. Now into the box, Jim Hickman, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set and the pitch. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two out here and a runner at second. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. The 1-1 one, one home, fouled away. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Number 38 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 38. Ryan. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the first-year catcher, Mike Ryan. Now the pitch. Now one and, oh. and it looks like the Cubs will get a left-hander up and working out of the bullpen. This one's down to third. He's got it. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The batter, number five. Shortstop, John Money. Now to the plate. Here is Don Money. He flew out in his last A.B. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. So a rather weak start to the at bat as he misses badly there. It's 0 and 1. Four runs, 10 hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Yeah, Matty, I'm going to need a better approach out of the eight all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count, grind it, get this pitch count up, and get on for the boys in front of him. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Don Money goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. So now to the plate, Rick Wise, as he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Phillies down in order as they hold on to a four to one lead. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a brute. All set for the start of the inning. And standing in the rookie outfielder, Billy Williams.
first pitch on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. A bouncer to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in will be Ernie Banks. First pitch on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Here comes the one two. Now a drive out to left center field. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. They haven't had much luck so far tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra base hit. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Standing in now, Randy Hundley, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's one for two in this one. Comes set, and the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today. Pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. At the plate, Don Young lines softly toward the hole. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Get up and stretch here at Shive Park. It's the Phillies four and the Cubs one. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Tony Taylor. First pitch on the way. He'll swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Now battle. Number four. Next, it'll be number four. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch of the A.B. now. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. 
And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. He was able to recognize that pitch early. His eyes lit up on that one. Able to pull it down the line for a nice base hit. Dick Allen to the plate again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. Now a spin and a throw back to second and he'll dive back in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. The batter, number 11. So now to the plate. Johnson grounded out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two run shot to straight away left. His second home run of the game. And it's now a six to one ball game. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times. And this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game. If this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. Into the box, number six. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. He's two for three and looking for more here. The wind up and the 0-1. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third yeah, single second of the game, D Row. Three key. for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. A runner on first with two away. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Reined in. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. Two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Phillies six and the Cubs one. Willie Smith is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. A ball and a strike. Fouled off. And 
and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. When a pitcher puts you in a proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. To first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, number 18. He bounced out last time up. First pitch on its way. Uh, you can tell this guy's got great feel for all his stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. One out, nobody on. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. The got it to bend one. a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen no. completely out of the zone. Yeah, Not sure. much you can do with that pitch. Next up is Don Keppinger. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. First offering. Yeah. On one. To short. He's got it. Over to first, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Number 22 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 22. Ryan. And now here is Mike Ryan. Now here's the first offering. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now.
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Williams is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. The batter, number five, shortstop, John Money. So next to bat will be Don Money. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Terry oh, Harmon will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He grounds it sharply to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it six to one. Number 21 will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 21. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Ron Santo. Now the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Two and two count. Here it comes. Count it three and two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Into the box now, Jim Hickman, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And he misses there, 1-2. Into the windup and the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. One out, nobody on. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first, gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now.
So next to hit is Billy Williams. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First offering on its way. As he'll take a look at ball one. Two out, nobody on. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. When your team is behind this late in the game, it's not a good look for you as a hitter to show no discipline and wave at a pitch that wasn't even sniffing the zone. Now a swing and a fly ball, and this should do it. Number six is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. The Philadelphia Phillies jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Rick Wise gets the W on the mound. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.